Good morning, Jake. Up on the Hill, the parties are spending a part of every day getting ready for next year's election. You have a story up on the site right now that when I saw it, I said, no way. Way. The story is that Randy Forbes, the Virginia Republican who's trying to become the next House Armed Services Chairman, a, a very tall task for him, has been trying to get his Republican colleagues to withhold their financial support from the NRCC if it supports gay candidates. Here's why it's a problem. Republicans could snatch two seats from Democrats in Massachusetts and in California, in the San Diego area, with gay candidates, very uh, uh, strong candidates for Republicans. He has threatened the NRCC to withhold his support. He told us, did not deny this on the record, said he's not going to prejudge whether he's going to hold back money. The NRCC says no way. They're not going to worry about whether a candidate is gay or straight. They're going to worry about whether he could beat a Democrat. This is causing friction. This is a, a months-long kind of crusade against gay candidates. So how did it come out now? He's running for armed services chairman, so people start spreading all of the nasty secrets about a member to uh, shame them, basically, and make sure they don't get the chairmanship. Uh, also up there, uh, Republicans are having clinics about how men can run against women. There's going to be a number of races where that's the case, so there's tips about avoiding problems like they had last cycle. Also driving the day, President Barack Obama is going to talk to Chris Matthews on MSNBC from American University here in Washington.